We take it and say, Pastor, they don't shoot Pastor Arrow. If Pastor get Arrow, we too, we are finished. They will leave church. They are making men of God look like supermen. When they are depressed, they cannot share their story. When they are down, they cannot share their story. When they are sick, they cannot share their story. Because you will demonize them in their pain. They were first men before they became men of God. A great man of God, I experienced this, was about to die several years ago, very sick. Members who should have money and contribute, immediately they broke the news that their pastor was sick and they, need, they needed to do an operation. The members begin to take the news all over. The church that is supposed to grow reduced down. From 2000, the church reduced down to 300. That increases depression. It increases depression. He forcefully came out to the altar pretending to be normal against medical report, forcing himself, ministering every Sunday and going into the office to collapse. The wife called me and was crying and said, Man of God, my husband is dying. And I go to him, he said, Man of God, I don't want, I don't want the, the, my church is going down. If you know the pastor heart, whenever the church is going down, he pleads, it breaks him down. It breaks him down to the bone. And I started pleading with him. He said, my sickness is not my pain. It's that my pillars left me in this. Why? 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 Pray for pastors. 95.5 pastors are in depression. 95.5 pastors, they can't share their pain because nobody seems to care. Pastors are not supermen. They are men that need to be comforted. They are also depressed. They are also confused. They fall sick. They need your support and not critics. If there is any generation that each of their general is the church is the church whenever their pastor is down they celebrate they demonize pray for pastors a pastor lost his wife to cancer the leaders took it up and said he used her for ritual he came to meet me here and he broke into tears he said i'm leaving ministry i don't want to be a pastor i just want to live normal if not because i'm born again i would have backslided but i want to make heaven pastor take my church and i said i'm not taking your church he wept said the holy woman i ever loved she died in my hands but my leaders said i used him used her for ritual he said papa look at me I don't have a car I don't have a bicycle and my members have abandoned me in the days of pain what a wicked war God will judge the church for how you have made pastors to cry God will judge members for how you have neglected generals and make them to be battered there are a lot of pastors preaching on the altar with heart problem preaching on the altar with diabetes preaching on the altar with blood pressure preaching on the altar in sickness just to make some of you happy pray for pastors they are not superman they need your touch fast for pastors all over the world they are human beings pastors don't allow anybody to make you look bad don't take your life because of somebody who does not have the key of hell and heaven in their hands. If they don't believe in you, let them go. Stay alive to fulfill your destiny. Stay alive to fulfill your destiny. If they rejected their creator, they will reject you as a creation. If they rejected the one who created them, and they call him he used the power of maximum how much more you stay alive stay alive the nigerian church has lost its value never has it been seen 
in the history of Nigeria where you see people attacking great men of God generals who have stood by the gate to make the kingdom of God what it is we talk against fathers of faith and think we will last we speak against proving men of God who have spent their life to labor for the gospel to be where it is cause is every generation that look at their father to their face and insult them a random on this note do I have a bleeding pastor here do I have the one who have lost his ministry because people seem not to understand you do I have the one who is already sick and is trying to be strong please go and take care of yourself it is only the living that can preach the gospel do I have anyone who feel like quitting do I have anyone trying to please other members hear me they will leave you if they want to leave you be yourself whatever good whatever pure whatever righteous think on them I suffered the pain of rejection when I was growing up I have seen it you know pastors that are broken-hearted you are the ones I want to pray for God told me there are 47 of you who feel like living ministry I got to that point in my life several years ago and I said no 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 I don't want 